My name is Steve Smith. This is TQ Way Weekly. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqawayweekly.com or drop them down below on YouTube. And of course, don't forget to go to patreon.com slash tqwayweekly if you want to continue helping me out with this show by giving me a dollar or more, whatever you want per episode to make this show better. And this episode, people, is shot entirely with a green screen because you're going to see my desktop and I'm going to show you how to do an outdated control driver hack. And I'm going to be picking on the Logitech F710. So if you have a Logitech F710 or any other controller that looks similar to this, or maybe an F310 or something, and you notice that under Windows 8, 8.1 or Windows 10, there is no driver. Despite the fact that the website clearly indicates this, you are not alone. And it's usually a dead giveaway if there's no actual driver on the page under those platforms. So what do you do? Well, look up the Steam community because the Steam community will tell you that this is not in fact supported. And if you go to tqaweekly.com slash se6ep11, you'll have the show notes of everything that you need to do for that controller as well as the link to the Steam community forum that tells you that this is not actually supported by Logitech under those platforms. They are by far not the only people guilty of this, don't be surprised, because it has to do with the fact that Windows is trying to keep illicit and fake controllers, software, and a whole bunch of other stuff out of the operating system because of certain various risks. But this means that you end up having to hack the operating system, and this is just a driver hack. This is not actually hacking or damaging your system, so don't be worried. By the way, you can see me on twitch.tv slash zedaxis1981, link down below in the description on YouTube, and welcome to my desktop, people. So first of all, once the controller is plugged in, and if you have this particular controller, please make sure the switch is in the D position, not the X position, otherwise it won't work. Once you're on this, on your desktop, you will have to open one thing just to make sure that it is in fact not installed correctly. So you're going to have to go to devices and printers. You will see that in my case, it is also indicated as unspecified, which means even the computer does not know that this is a game controller. So anyway, we know it's unspecified. So what do we do? Well, you're going to have to actually do the hack. So then you open up the device manager. The device manager is a very neat thing because it's a, if it's unspecified, it's usually under other devices unless for some crazy reason it actually recognizes the so do whatever supposed driver and actually puts it under usb or gaming but it doesn't actually work as a controller so what you're going to do in this case is you're going to select it you're going to right click it you're going to click update driver software and because we already know this won't work if we try to get their software, you're going to click browse my computer for driver software. You're going to click, let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. And then you're going to scroll all the way down to the Xbox 360 peripherals and then click next. Then you're going to have to select the Xbox 360 controller for Windows. I am warning you. The next window will say that you may break windows. This is not going to happen. Don't freak out. Just click yes. And now it is going to be recognized as an Xbox 360 controller that you can actually play with in Steam and every other platform that supports the Xbox 360 controller. So by platform, I mean Steam, Origin, Uplay, GOG, whatever you want. As long as it recognizes that controller, it will now be able to actually play. So if you like this episode, like it. If you didn't dislike it, leave your comments, questions, and topic suggestions down below. Don't forget to go to patreon.com slash TQA weekly link down below and pitch me a dollar or more per episode to make this show better. And if you like these kinds of shows, that's where the money's going because I actually wanted to be able to shoot in green screen. It's much easier to set up and I can actually tweak the look of the show. So don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day and goodbye.